<laughs> Hello, my children. Xenia Sign.exe is back with another live reaction from a video on Tavaria's channel. This one has actually caught my attention a lot. This video is entitled, When a Spirit Meets an Ancestor, to call meets a Zara at the Ancestral Plains. Now I'm getting introduced to someone new named the Zara. That does have me quite curious as to what is going on. So, let's finally get into this video, shall we? Let's see now. Three paths. Mm. Three paths is what's offered to Yenna. <laughs> Three paths, you say? Though it seems like she's already moving forward on all three. <laughs> she may be the one that we are looking for. She might. I wonder though, who is it that you're looking for? Though, it seems though that a lot of the multiverse has their own chaotic issues going on. Well, yes, yes it does. Including my own home. Oh. It's no wonder my own granddaughter preferred another world. But I can see why the other one mm -hmm. would want her as its tonal body. Your granddaughter, wait a minute. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Rosaria. Have you seen her? Rosaria. After I've worked that damn karma, I found her. Ah, there's the call. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a greeting, guys. Relax. I am curious, though. What is happening? Seems so. Mm hmm Kind of surprised to be able to see somebody from that world. To be able to cross into the ancestral plane, but <laughs> <laughs> then again, you'd be surprised what we can do. Th then again, from what it looks like here, you're also you're also a spirit from that world as well. Mm -hmm. I have been for over a thousand years. I've been in this form of existence. Mm. It's heartwarming to see another. My, show being cordial. <laughs> My name is Chakal. Yes. I am the former, well, not former, but seen as the former princess of the Echidna tribe. Yes. The Knuckles clan, to be exact. Mm hmm. <laughs> Does remind me. Meet you, madam. You are? At some point, me and my Chakal are going to have to really work on that. The box <laughs> of the realm of the five kingdoms. Oh. Your Highness, now, it is an the Fox you. Kingdom, you say? It's an honor to meet you as well. <laughs> now, currently, I reside as the Guardian Ancestor of the Fox Kingdom. Guardian Ancestor. Prestigious. Mm -hmm. I reside as the Guardian, well, helping to help guard the Master Emerald with Knuckles. He's not <laughs> the best at it, but I try my best to aid him, but I've become pretty much the one to watch over them as well. <laughs> it's not easy. Seems like the mas this Master Emerald isn't the only thing that you've been watching over. Yes. <laughs> well, my people mean a lot to me, but ever since the dreaded incident, 
I have turned my attention to more than just the Echidna tribe. All of Mobius, essentially. I aim to be a peaceful source of happiness <laughs> and wisdom. And, you know, the usual thing of protecting and trying the to... The How Queens. So, correct me if I'm wrong, then. Then you are the spirit that had introduced balance. To a certain Sarah Scout. The one and only. <laughs> Not to flex, as the hip ones say nowadays. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, to say that I have once reside resided within her body for over a thousand years. A certain Sarah Scout, though, requires balance with me up, now. Young people are able to. Use those terms, including flex. <laughs> Call me old fashioned, but then again, not then again, not only was it a former queen, I was certainly the first queen of the Fox Kingdom. Oh. We are a bit of an well, old tried. bunch, as you can hear. <laughs> well, now I'm really curious in this Agreed. Fox I clan mean, of yours. One of the first female members of the Echidna tribe to also delve into the world of being a warrior as a oh. protector as well. Despite it, I took my father's advice in a more peaceful manner, but it wasn't enough to stop them from getting all... I'm sure you've heard of the story. I don't want to waste time and explain, because there are more important matters to focus on. Mm -hmm. I sense the connection that you have with her. Yeah. She's quite a fascinating young woman. <laughs> she is. She's my beautiful she's daughter. My she's my one of my granddaughters. Min well, Min, you really had to meet here. <laughs> I really well, would I love to be introduced to you. Let's just say when she was still when she was just born was when Well not even the Fox Kingdom is free from the sin. <laughs> really? Neither was mine. From, and it was caused my... by my own family. Yeah, that seems to be a running theme between <laughs> large, caused, high families. It was caused by my own husband. Well, ex-husband. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was an arranged one. I thought things were going to be going by well, but... Mm. It seems like he had a lot more of his eye upon power. So I see. He He's one of those types. To power. He the blowhards. Obsessed with. Became more obsessed with my bloodline. You see, although he was huh. my ex-husband, the children, the children that I bear, along along with the grandchildren that they bear, have no blood ties to him. Good. Which I am relieved. Dear I do not want goodness. them to. I do not want them to. And to take in the same path as him. Yeah. However. Nothing good comes from having however, children with such a man. His father, the first ancestor of the Fox Kingdom. Initially, he was trying to have me take take the role as ancestor next, as well as set up a, an election amongst the kingdom. That way, at least we could see how things work with certain laws that are in progress to see how the people prefer. Interesting. Initially, everything was going by smoothly, and the people wished to have me take on the role. But that role, sadly, was stolen after about, I want to say, about a few weeks after Saber Peace, is what you call her, after she was born. Oh dear. Oh, you... My ex-husband had hired. <sighs> How dumb. My deepest apologies and condolences, my dear. Yeah, you did not deserve You're not the only that, my one dear. Was betrayed by a loved one. My own father and the rest of our brethren ran me down and they charged against the ancient ruins to try and steal the chaos emeralds. For their oh, own yeah, I saw selfish that. needs to conquer and gain more power. Power can bless, but it can also corrupt. Yes, it can. And it appears your husband fell victim to the same spell. <clears throat> it does transcend dimensions. 
power has it's no a limit. concept. That's why it transcends dimension dimensions. It's a concept. It seems we suffered similar fates. Looks like we have. Though, on the brighter side, though, my son-in-law, the angel of death, Azriel, also <laughs> the father of Sailor Peace, was able to transcend. How amusing! Her. I also have a son named Azriel. In fact, due to the fact that a lot of people adopted. <laughs> The scandal, as well as even the own council. <clears throat> they wanted to make sure that I'm able to take on, take upon the, take upon, take upon the ancestral throne as soon as possible. <clears throat> Events have happened. Yeah. Let's just say that, <laughs> although, <laughs> although, although, see, although when it comes to a beautiful field, it may seem beautiful, but there <clears throat> are times where. Even the most beautiful flower can have the most sin can have the most sinful in order to make it bloom. <laughs> sinful actions might lead to positive things eventually. <laughs> I know that the world is not all positivity. <laughs> I've been cursed with being a pacifist, as someone who refuses to put up their fists and fight out of violence and anger. Yes. But sometimes, it is the answer. It is a harsh reality that I have learned through many, many scenarios where I've had to step in and be a guide to everyone. <laughs> but I do hope that things worked out for you in the end, dear. So far it has. <clears throat> Since, thankfully, about, about a year and a half ago. Or, in this world's case, let's just say that time works a little differently. Mobius, I heard. it was about a year and a half. Here, about 1,500 years. <laughs> your, sailor, your Sailor Peace had come by here along with her cousin, <laughs> the other And they were able to help me get the throne back and throw my ex-husband off of it. <laughs> and from what I heard... Well, and from what I've heard... He was struck down by one of the archangels and and died. Oh, uh, too bad I can be the one to strike him down. Well, karma finds its way. I take it as karma always finds its way, dear. <laughs> yes. And speaking of sailor peace. Oh yes. Oh, go on. Go ahead. In important matters regarding to sell a piece. I don't know if you've wondered why and how I was able to bring myself to this plane. It's for important matters regarding sell a piece. Let's just say I have kind of forgive me, I know you're her grandmother, but <laughs> her and I have formed a very strong bond over time and that's good. I've dear. kind of taken her under my wing to the point where even our gems are linked. No. <laughs> Both of our tiaras are kind of symbolic of one another. Mm. And be able to understand. <laughs> I can <laughs> yes. feel that bond that you have with her, and I am glad that she is able to be able to open up once more. <laughs> she had closed herself it off. It took for effort. She had closed herself off for a good long time, but if it wasn't for her allies, the friends she made, her lover, it would have been impossible to be able to open up that link once more. <laughs> well, it turns out that, speaking of a link, your granddaughter has so much untapped potential, but her time has yet to come. Oh, she has the even more than you that would ever know, my dear. Is increasing, but it has not reached its full area yet. <laughs> I do have faith in her, but her training is still not finished yet. Of course not. Her power will grow. Yes, it will. She has not chosen one. She has chosen more than one. <laughs> her strength so will grow noticed. as well. So I have noticed. Forgive my cryptic way of speaking. <laughs> it's kind of natural at this point. 
I can be able to understand. That is no, no need to worry on that. <laughs> However, I will state this, though. I be able to understand because although I may be separated from her now, I could still be able to feel. Hmm. Yes. Maybe we should some of her emotions. make you a yes, little bit of more of a connection. Notice the trial if you would be willing. As well, well, we'll as talk about more. Guardianship amongst your planet. Yes. From what from what it seems it like. It wasn't a dire situation. <laughs> from what it seems like. She could be the one to help bring balance to not just this world or yours, mm. but the entire multiverse. To all of them. To each and she every multiverse. Just, she has chosen. She has chosen and followed not just one, not two, but three paths. <laughs> and from with your guidance, hope, hopefully she'll be able to reach the peak of balance. As for my side, I, I believe in her. It take a while, but she's also taken the path of life. <laughs> I'll just talk about my beautiful daughter. It just warms me inside. It's insane how much she has grown since the beginning. Mm. The moment that I laid eyes on her, the moment that she and I <laughs> interacted, when I bestowed her superpowers upon her mm. with that brooch. I knew it was a destiny thing for her. Mm -hmm. Balance has always been a thing in our universe. Mobius has always thrived off of controlling chaos. Yes. It is unified through the heart. Yes. In your granddaughter's heart shows every sign of potential. <laughs> to be an emissary of balance. And as from what I've seen, uh. an emissary of life as well. Together, I'm sure we can definitely bring her to a more stronger plane. Oh mm. my god, I realized how short I am compared to you. Oh. <laughs> oh, no need to worry. Too. Forgive me, humans are... Forgive no. me, humans are seen in a very different light in Mobius. If only I can but don't see be such a lovely I do young not lady. have prejudices, unlike my father. Mm -hmm. No need to worry. I have noticed how the beings of Mobius have been. Oh, have you now? Technically, I've been with, I have been with my granddaughter, up until, up until the events that had happened upon your planet, before she took, uh, oh. before she yes. had decided to take residence there, <laughs> but also after you granted her guardianship. But I will say this: I know there is another individual out there who is currently helping her with the path of power. Well, maybe a tricky one for her because that will that will include learning to accept a little bit of darkness along with the light, but also to conquer fear. I've noticed when it comes to the fear, she has difficulty conquering it. Although I want her to one day control it and become it be fear itself, but only for those I who deserve have it. I experienced my forms of fear, fear of destruction. Fear of loss. Fear of heartbreak. I have experienced all three. It's what led to my demise. <clears throat> but I did not let that stop me. And I know your granddaughter will not let it stop her either. I chose her for a reason. <clears throat> and I'm sure that you understand why. Unifying the chaos has always been something that I've done before. But sometimes... The torch must be passed. Yes. And another must be brought in to mm -hmm. join and fulfill the legacy. Which is why I have been doing that a lot lately. Was definitely the right choice. Now I even my son Green is an EXE. And I'm hoping that together. A, sh a demon of I'm sharpness. I'm unsure of who this third being is, but I'm sure all three of us can guide her into a proper state <laughs> where she can master all three paths. And be an emissary of positivity and goodness because this multiverse needs it. There's too much negativity. There's too much sadness. There's too much torture and pain, brutality and darkness. And there needs to be more of light. Like what this plane has here. It is a beautiful place, honestly. Talk about these things. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, but I understand completely on where you I love your passion. 
I am praying that uh, I'm almost tempted to have another to call. <laughs> uh, stop it, Xavier, you shouldn't. And be able to become that source of light and positivity that this multiverse needs. Mm. To balance out peace and chaos. Law, chaos. <laughs> it's become so natural for me to say that. I don't understand why, but. Eh. <laughs> By the way, another thing that I've noticed that is very, very, very positive for Sailor Peace. She has made so many friends and so many allies. Her positive energy is increasing greatly. I know that together we can bring her even higher, further, make her stronger. Your granddaughter will make everyone proud. I have no doubt. Oh, she's making me proud. Uh, each and every day. Be able to go onto that path. Mm -hmm. All three paths. Perfectly. As soon as those three paths are accomplished, she, she has accomplished her own path. Right now, there is path some concern, peace. though. You confess. I have noticed, though, that some of her allies and family, <laughs> they have not understood about the heart more than she does. <laughs> they seem to be more, how should I say, guided, if not by power, by strength, and by titles. <laughs> I know that I have raised my daughters to... Forget about titles and to focus on family. <laughs> and they have taught Indeed. their and they have taught their daughters to follow the same road. Well, I'm all about family. Which is why I think I you and I will be message that got lost in time. very compatible once we although, meet Azara. Although I do know that Sailor Peace is able to follow her heart once more. And is able to get back onto the right track of things. Yes. However, it seems though that some of her allies. They need to understand. She needs to follow her own path. And not theirs. True. To be able to get to the top. <laughs> and she will. Since Which she is why I don't interfere all that much. I only come. When she offers. To allow me to join. You state. Make sure no one destroys the path that she is going upon. I will never allow that to happen. Allies, enemies, family, or even her own beloved. Mm. They try to deter her from it. Stop her immediately. And get her back to the right path. Shall be done, Azara. I agree with everything Azara said. Azara is right. To my gym to let her know. And I also, I you also agree with everything to call says and as do well. You do wish to speak to her? This, my gem now has the ability to sort of tap into her. Closely through her spirit. <laughs> that she's kind of be become like... Uh, <clears throat> she's kind of become like a granddaughter to me as well. <laughs> Not officially, so don't worry. <laughs> she's more like a daughter to me no, than no a granddaughter. It's more of just a... It's more of just a title for funsies. It's <laughs> another slang term. <laughs> In other words... She's cute. Like that the bond between the two of you has grown so strong that... Uh... I need to, I'm tempted again, but I need to stop. Rather than as just a disciple or a student. It's like a working for the family business sort of thing. <laughs> I need to start sharpening my quills every time a girl moves me. I could be able to understand that. Again, for her heart, I could be able to feel it. Mm -hmm. with, how, with some of the bonds that she had created with others. I could be able to see that even some of her allies have family titles. Yes. In all honesty, yeah. some people will call call her out on making a mistake or a question. <laughs> her. 
I will state this, this one, if there is any one slang from those modern dayers that they go with, I'd say oh, no. you need to have an opened mind. <laughs> She's what precious. I always say, open your heart, and it's going to be all right. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. And another thing. All within the world chaos. Yes? If you wish to be a little closer to Sarah. May our hearts feel free guide to us. Call her by if the I have your permission. Chief. Feel free to call her hmm? by her other names. Mm. You can call her by the name she grew up with. Tayana, or Tayana is what a lot of people like to call her. It's a nickname. Yeah. By the oh, that is a beautiful name. Or by the name she was given at birth. Yena. Yena. That is beautiful. You know, if it makes you feel comfortable, I have a nickname, but <laughs> it's very ridiculous in my opinion i'm gonna call her it's to what worry about her called me give a name as well heard my name when he was very young he couldn't say it so instead of to call he called me tiki <laughs> <laughs> i know you i'm know. feeling all too well tiki. even little rosario also, when she was a child she called me i must Lisa. remember these names <laughs> it's always wonderful to see our little ones grow up Speaking of growing up, mm. at some point I should return to my plane because... Honestly, it makes me a happy father seeing all my children grow up. Although it does kind of bring a bit of loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Plus, uh, someone, plus someone's touching her gem, so I have a feeling I might need to put some Sonado images into a certain future. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> That's horrible. It's complicated. Sonado. Horrible. I feel like I should not ask. You should not. No. Dear, let's just say. As someone who looks like Sonic, no. Just no. Odd things, but it's complicated. Mm. Let's just say, um, some people have a habit of poking her gem, which is how I get disturbed when I am meditating or taking care of Chows or watching the Master Emerald or keeping an eye on things on the planet when Peace is busy doing things. Sometimes I also, she says, call her peace, but I don't know. I might try to vary her to see how she reacts. She might giggle. <laughs> Very well. Feel free. Thank you. But anyways, feel free, feel free to head back home. I, and all I could say is thank you for guiding my granddaughter to a rightful path. You are very welcome, Azara. It is what uh, must be done as well. It is the right thing to do as well. As someone who's grown there's up in so a world where my heart to learn. Is there's so much I want to learn. The least I can do is offer the opposite: kindness, mm. peace, mm -hmm. and tranquility to all around everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much, Azara. And if I have permission, I would, I would not mind interacting with you more often. Tavaria is a very special soul. She that she is. Guidance. That she does. Together I feel we can do wonderful things for her. Mm -hmm. well, as long as none of the other ancestors attempt to try to interfere, or as long as the four kings of heaven do not, <laughs> well... Four kings of heaven, you say? Heaven, as long as he does not try to interfere... Now I'm interested. Come by here as much as you like. Thank you very much. Goodness. Well, if oh the four kings God, of heaven ever decide to step it? here, I am going to oh, enjoy oh, All right, putting them in their place. Sonic and Shadow making out. Sonic and Shadow on poles. Uh, shadow. To call. Shadow, no. Sonic and Shadow. Sonic and Shadow. Girl. Uh. Yep, there's the scream. There it is. <laughs> Sorry. I need to head back to Mobius. Blech. I'm not taking a hint with that gem. Very We're well. gonna have to have a talk, go young lady. Yeah, go and do what you need to do. <laughs> thank you very much, dear. Mm. And thank you uh, for coming to visit. Actually, if you... <laughs> no, no worries. Thank you. Actually, if you don't mind, um, this is a 
common sign of affection on, well, in a friendly way on Mobius, if you don't mm. mind. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a way that we show a, a sign of friendship and, yeah. you know, in a familial, romantic, or any sort of positive. Oh. Mm. <laughs> don't bring you. a romance while I'm no, watching I'm this now. Back. Oh. You put oh, ideas my into my head. We are really asking for it. All right, I think I need to go in person. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Good luck, Takal. Best of wishes to you, Azara. Best of wishes to you as well. May God guide you and my granddaughter mm. further into destiny. I want to be the may God that guides her. Serve you well, and may happiness persist, and may peace follow you wherever you venture. All in the will of chaos, my dear. Farewell. The will of chaos will always guide you. I know that she will be protected. Mm -hmm. Though the third guidance. Mm -hmm. I hope to be able to meet him one day. <laughs> oh. Well, Azara, if by the third guidance you mean me, I hope to meet you as well. <laughs> Well, there is a lot to unpack here, and I'm definitely glad I actually sat here and watched this because there's so much more I was learning from those who helped my daughter. And such a new and lovely face that I need to meet myself one day. I definitely hope that it's soon. <laughs> ah, but let me not sharpen my fangs at the moment and I mean that in a good way not in a threatening way <laughs> but learning my daughter's truer names does really help me especially when I go up to her and bring those names up to her <laughs> Ah, uh, just more of a reason to bond with my daughter and those that surround her. But yes, the Fox Kingdom. Hmm. I definitely need to learn more and more about Tovardia's origins. And so, I'm definitely looking forward to meeting this Azara. And hopefully she can shed a little more light onto all of this backstory. Maybe because... It definitely piques my curiosity. <laughs> and the more I know, the more I know how to take care of my own situation because I am my daughter's guiding hand. So even if I don't physically interfere until she allows me to, because of course I want her to go her own way, I still want to be able to, you know, give her the proper guidance that she he needs, especially when it comes to balancing the light and the darkness, because that is what it is that I bestowed upon her. It is her own destiny to go her own paths, but I still give her the tools in order to make it through that path and relative with relative ease, as it, as it were. There's still going to be a lot of obstacles and bumps in the road. But, I know, my daughter, Tavaria, Yuna, will definitely succeed in the end. <laughs> and I can't wait to see everything. Now then. This has been Exidia Sonic Taiyuxi. I hope you all enjoyed my live reaction. Tell me in the comment section. If you believe this Azaro was talking about me, <laughs> and if you're excited on how our interaction will be like, <laughs> make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel, you enjoy my content, and of course go subscribe, go to yeah, go subscribe to Tavaria as well. Anyways, 
This has been Xavier, your father. And I will see all of you next time. Remember, my children, stay tuned.